Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And today we are gonna do some smaller thrift flips. We are gonna do three smaller thrift flips. I was really inspired by Rachel Maxey's video where she put three smaller ones together. And I am the queen of little projects squirrel the way that I never get to. Do you feel me? So the idea of putting these smaller projects together and then making a video out of it is really a way to push myself to get these done. <laughs> so I have three items that I picked up from Goodwill. The first item is this 90s wood looking thing. You can see the size here. It's like a couple in the woods thing. It, lo it has lots of dimension, if you can see. Um, picked this up for $5. I might have gotten it on sale. Um, I, I got this a long time ago. But what I was thinking about this is all it would take is some paint and this could look very corpse bride themed, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, I think that'd be a really fun upcycle to make this look corpse bride and make this a piece of Halloween decor. Lily, do you need in the video? Lily, come here. Come here. Come here, Lily. Come here. Hi, Lily. Do you need to say hi? Oh, she didn't want to be picked up. You didn't want to be picked up. Well, tell everyone in video land you're leaving. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that didn't go well. <laughs> the next item I pick up is something I see in thrift stores all the time. And I'm constantly kind of wondering, like, what can I do with these items? I keep wanting to save them because they have a really cool look, but I just don't know what to do with them. And it is these old shoe forms. This one was just so beautiful looking, I had to get it. It had the like perfect look, the perfect patina. There's the price I paid. I might have paid less again. This might have been on sale, I'm not sure. This one's kind of fun how it goes like that, so it can really slip into a shoe. And I saw on Pinterest people are painting these to give them kind of like a more decor type of style and I thought you know what I'm gonna try painting this so what I thought is I could use a motif that is on this teapot this is a turn of the century teapot I also thrifted this but I think that motif would look beautiful on this shoe form so I think I'm gonna use the inspiration of that to give this like a witchy vibe. So that's the second item that we are going to uh, thrift flip. So it's more my style. And the last item we are going to thrift flip. Y'all, I'm a sucker for a really good, gaudy, detailed vintage picture frame. And look at this one. Oh my goodness. Now, usually I find the revival frames, uh, the ones that are like the Ormolu from the 70s. This one is extremely heavy, and I actually think this is the older one versus a revival piece, but I could be wrong. Um, there's the price I paid on this. I got this one more recently, so I know I paid $6 for it. It wasn't on sale, but we are going to take this and we are going to make it one of my brooch displays, but we're going to give it a little bit of a twist. So it's a little more unique. I did, um, I actually did a video on how to make the brooch displays that I make. They're super simple and easy. So this will be a super simple upcycle. That's going to be nice and stunning to display my brooches. Um, but yeah, I will, I will link that up in the cards. I will link it below. So I think this is gonna be a really fun upcycle because oh, this frame, y'all, this frame. Okay, so let's start with this one. 
Now, I'm not an expert at repainting things. This isn't a tutorial, but I think I think I got this. I think for display, um, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be super durable or super perfect. So I'm really excited about giving this more of the corpse bride vibes. So I first started out with changing the coloring of the background to like that haunted blue that the forest is in the movie. And then I went to the bride and changed her skin tone and started adding more details like the movie. I then went in on her dress and started changing the scallops, the shape of it, into more of a tattered, weird look. And y'all, I, I truly think that this turned out just so amazing. I really, really love how this turned out. So final touches coming up and here we go. Okay, and this is how this one turned out. Oof, I really, really love it. I think this is really, really cool. I So I will style this in my home for Halloween. So it's not styled anywhere in my home, but it will be. Get it in the light. Yeah, isn't that neat? Um, this turned out actually kind of better than I thought it would. Um, I actually love the tag on this one just for fun. Um, and yeah, I'm just really happy with it. Now, I don't think I did the best paint job and that is okay, but I think I did a good enough paint job and it is super duper cool corpse bride. Love it. Now, this next one I am a little nervous about. If you see like toll wear painting and such, when they do the brush strokes, they have like different colors of paint on the brush stroke. Um, and that really makes the dimension of the painting. And that is the style I'm gonna emulate. But I've never painted in that style before. So uh, y'all, this is gonna be a first try for me. So we'll see how it goes. And so I started painting the moon first cause it was my main priority and then a bunch of the stars. And I think that was the right order. However, many of them got covered up by the branches I added. Um, I kept the teapot out at all times for inspiration. And I really love how this turned out. Um, I wasn't successful at making the tollware style, but y'all, y'all, oof, goodness. This looks so good. I can't wait to show you the final reveal. And so here it is. How fun is this? Okay, so this turned out way better than I thought it was going to. I I really kind of was aiming for that toll wear painting style and I don't think I achieved that at all. But I think it looks really good anyways. <laughs> and I think one thing a lot of people who do creative projects end up running into is the fact that they have an idea of how something is going to work. And if it doesn't turn out exactly like that idea, they get frustrated. And I beg you, the creative process is a journey. It might not always turn out exactly how you envision. This did not turn out exactly how I envisioned. And I still love this piece. So I have this styled over in my witchy corner, styled with my little teapot my antique teapot that inspired the design. And yeah, I am just in love. This is probably my favorite project. Mm. 
that out of the three, it's just amazing. And lastly, I'm really excited to see how this project turns out. Y'all, brooch displays with vintage frames are just a super, super DIY project. Um, and I'm excited to show you how I'm going to make this one a little extra special and a little more creepy. So I did this just how I do my brooch displays. And the only difference is I am going to embroider a design on the top layer of felt. And so I was sitting and watching a craft along with Christine McConnell. I love craft alongs. They're such a great way to um, have time pass while you're crafting. And just for everybody's reference, this took me over four and a half hours to embroider the whole design on there. So we're going through it fast, but it took me a long time. And I also noticed that I'm not as good of a sewer as I used to be. I really had to pay attention to get those lines straight. But y'all, the extra time and effort I put into this brooch display, mm, so worth it. Y'all, y'all, I love how this turned out. Oh my goodness. This makes me so happy. Like I can't even, I can't even explain. And like taking the time to sew that web in there just takes it to the next level. And I love that I curated brooches that are all kind of in a gold and blue and green color theme which is perfect because it really matches my bedroom. So I have this styled on my nightstand next to my bed. Love it, it's gonna stay there for always. And it's just creepy good. I love how it looks like the butterflies are caught in the web and the spider and the flowers. Ah, oh, this is so great. And then whenever I wanna wear some of these brooches, they're just easily accessible and they're setting out and I can just pull them off of here and wear them. So I think this turned out amazing and it helps that I started with a killer frame. Okay, that is it y'all. What did you think? I'm telling you, I am filming this part right the night before this video has to go up, which I almost never do. But y'all, getting small projects done is a real thing. It just takes so much time to get small projects done. This took me well over a month to put together. Um, I would love to know your tips of getting small projects done and how you get them done and how you motivate yourself to get them done. I'd love to hear that. I'm always like, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. And I get onto something with this YouTube channel and I'm off doing things for the channel. So <laughs> even filming this video was almost not enough to get these done on time. <laughs> um, and I'd also love to know which was your favorite in the comments. I am really partial to the shoe form painted, but they are all super duper lovely. So if you love creative projects like this, please subscribe, more to come. And on this channel, we do vintage, thrifting, creative projects and more. And I'd love to have you stick around. And that's it, y'all. Stay creative. Bye.